six years old and I arrived in Spain four months ago. My two daughters go to the church and I began to go with them. However, a month later they closed the church and now I watch the teachings of the Lord on television. He promised my daughter that he would be watching over us and that is how my daughter and granddaughter of seven years old tested positive for coronavirus. My daughter and I were both sick and I began to feel very ill, but I thought it was just a cold. It only lasted a few days and I prayed to the Lord to take away this discomfort that wouldn't even allow me to get out of bed. But at my age, it was not severe. I only knew I had the virus because they did a test in Tarragona, Spain. And I give the honor to the Lord because I had the virus without even realizing it. We were fine and we had antibodies. God bless our sister, Maria Luisa, because I love to listen to her and I see the support the Lord gives her. May the Lord bless you all. Be eager to your almost to present yourself to God. Be eager I want to testify to, to give the honor and glory to my Lord. The Lord's raised the ill in my family. I had two uncles that were very ill and one terminally ill, one that the doctors had already announced that he was terminally ill. I prayed a lot to my God. The Lord fulfilled his promise and today my uncle is up and about. The doctors are astonished because they said that he was terminally ill. But for God, there is nothing impossible. Two Sundays ago, I had an aunt that was very ill due to the virus. She was very, very ill. And at 1130, when I was praying, my aunt at that same time felt that on her back and lungs, a hand touched her and caressed her. Two days later, my aunt is well and up and about, and she has recovered well. This has meant a lot for my family, my mother. The Lord told me that he would be bringing that being that I love the most Today, my mother and I watch the teachings together, and she respects and values our sister, Maria Luisa. What's more, she is the one in charge of sending the family the links to the live streams for them to see. This I testify for the honor and glory of my Lord. There is nothing to be ashamed of, someone rightly handling the word of truth. I to give honor and glory to our Lord, our powerful and glorious Lord. At the end of February, the Lord told me in prophecy that very soon I would be obtaining that material possession that I desired in my heart. And that's what happened, brothers and sisters, because the Lord knew that I was doing an application to acquire that material possession, but he also knew that I had not been approved for the home uh, that I, along with my wife, had chosen because we didn't meet the requirements that the company we applied with required. So I prayed to the Lord and I explained the situation that we were going through, that we hadn't been approved for the home, that the home was the one that we had chosen, that it was the one that we wanted, if the Lord allowed, and that the company that we applied with didn't approve us. So, brothers and sisters, the Lord did not delay in comforting me. He told me that very soon you were going to obtain that material possession, and that's what happened, brothers and sisters. Today, I see the word of the Lord fulfilled because the Lord placed helpers for each one of the procedures that were required regarding the documentation and we did everything virtually during this pandemic. We were able to complete all of the process, which the company that we applied with did approve us for. It was a very beautiful experience. And today we have that material possession, brothers and sisters, that the Lord spoke to me about. And the Lord fulfilled his word. I testify for the honor and glory of our Lord. Present yourselves to God, a good worker, an approved one, who does not...
years, I testify that I grew up in church, but I entered a stage of rebellion in which I focused on seeking material things. I decided to not await for that promise in my love life, but I sought someone from the world, but God in his infinite mercy transformed him. Although I was lukewarm in his path, he baptized me with his Holy Spirit, but I still continued lukewarm and rebellious and didn't value it as I should have. Brothers and sisters, I lived through three difficult years in which I was in sadness and I didn't focus on seeking him, but I continued blinded by my rebellion. I had a dream in which I saw the world was desolate. The children of God were no longer in it. It seemed as though the Lord had already come to pick up his people and I had remained, but I didn't want to understand. And then the churches were closed. I felt great sadness and I began to pray to the Lord, but I didn't feel his spirit or his backing. And this caused in me greater sadness. I prayed because of that sadness, but in the midst of this, I began to watch the sermons, to read the Bible, and to remember the promises he made me when he told me that I should study the Bible and watch his Bible studies and sermons, and so I did. Brothers and sisters, I began to feel all the symptoms of COVID-19. I still prayed to God, and I told him that this was because of my rebellion. I watched brother Carlos Alberto's sermons in which he told us to be sincere in our hearts and that we should analyze what our errors and faults are and so I did those last two nights I couldn't breathe I had to sit upright I couldn't lay down because I lost breath that last night I remember I couldn't breathe brothers and sisters my body had no more strength I was out of breath I couldn't open my eyes. The last thing I saw was a man, a man who was standing in the midst of the darkness, and I felt anguish. I felt as though my life were diminishing, and I told the Lord that I was going to die, but I would die praying to him, that I would die glorifying his good name, because I knew that I'd be condemned because I had the opportunity to seek him and the kingdom of heaven, and I didn't do that. I closed my eyes and saw my six-year-old daughter crying unconsolably and I remember a promise he made me when he told me that I would see her grow up and I remember this and I told the Lord Jesus Christ to intercede on my behalf before the Father that I knew that I had not done right, that I had not sought him, that I devoted myself to things of this world that don't please him and brethren I couldn't breathe I felt that my body was running out of life. I closed my eyes and saw Sister Maria Luisa lay hands on me. And when I saw her, I felt a burst of air enter my nose and fill my lungs. And then I could breathe. I closed my eyes again and saw a mountain. Today, I understand that mountain was the Lord Jesus Christ, who had helped me and interceded for me before our Lord, our Father and brothers and sisters. The Lord in his mercy raised me out of that bed, gave me the opportunity to seek him, to seek the kingdom of heaven so I will not be condemned and to show me that the world doesn't offer anything good, only sadness, because that is what I lived in those three years. Brothers and sisters, it's been two months since that happened. I sought him tirelessly. I watched the sermon Sister Maria Lida gives and in one one of those, the Lord gave me a beautiful gift, the gift of prophecy, and I cried, brethren, because I didn't think I was deserving of that beautiful gift, but God in prophecy through my own lips told me that he is a God of true doctrine, that I should not doubt, and brothers and sisters, I testify to honor and glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To your almost, to present yourself to God, be eager. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. Recently, I became really concerned with getting into college because after a year of applying, I still couldn't get in. I was so frustrated, but the Lord spoke to me through prophecy and comforted me and said not to worry because that blessing will come in His time. And instead, I should focus on seeking Him more, reading the Bible and attending the Bible studies because through the Bible study, He was going to deliver me from evil spirits that tormented me. Brothers and sisters, that is how I began to make more time to read the Bible, but the enemy started to put thoughts in my mind to make me feel insecure, anxious, and sad every time I tried to read, and I thought I couldn't or wasn't worthy of receiving the blessings God promised. When the churches closed, the sadness worsened because I thought it was going to be impossible to receive those spiritual blessings that I yearned for. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in sharing that God gave me the love and the dedication to seek Him. I began to pray and read the Bible every day. After some time, I had a dream with Sister Maria Luisa where she told me to keep striving because I will see God's mercy soon. 
On June 30th, I had another dream. I was watching a Bible study and suddenly I began speaking in tongues. I woke up very confused because I didn't understand what was happening. A few days after that, God made this dream a reality because I spoke in tongues while I was praising Him at home. In addition, I was accepted into college to start my major in modern languages, which the Lord had revealed in the past I would be majoring in. The following day, while praising again in my, with my family at home, the Lord gave me the gift of prophecy. And to top it all off, the Lord also gave me monies owed to me that I thought were lost. I want to highlight, brothers and sisters, that through these experiences, the Lord showed me how wonderful and perfect He is. He fulfilled His promises in their entirety. And He told me that if I truly seek Him, He'll bless me with everything I need. I also want to highlight the great power God has bestowed on Sister Maria Luisa. And we are very fortunate to have such a teacher in our church. Sister Maria Luisa, I love you in the Lord and I testify to give glory to my Heavenly Father. Amen.